Hello everyone, I'm Terry Peterman, the Internet Electrician, and welcome to another one of my video shorts on current topics. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what a standard 15 amp single pole breaker looks like when it's in a tripped condition and how to properly reset that. A standard breaker will trip in one of two situations. One is an overload condition, which is a condition where the flow of current exceeds the rating of the breaker for a short period of time. A second cause is a short circuit condition, where a flow of current spikes rapidly to tens of thousands of amps immediately and the breaker trips almost instantaneously. Let's move in for a closer look. I'm going to use my demo board here to demonstrate. Now here's the breaker in the on position, if you'll see, and all is well. Then for whatever reason, that breaker trips, shutting off the flow of electricity to that circuit. Now if you know what caused the breaker to trip, you want to remedy that situation. So maybe you were vacuuming and someone plugged in another appliance or tool on the same circuit and that caused an overload. Or maybe the cord of the vacuum got caught in the jam of a closing door. That damaged the cord and caused a short circuit. So regardless of the cause here, you do whatever you have to to fix the situation first. Then off you go to the main service panel to investigate and this is what you'll find. You'll see here the breaker handle in question is in the tripped position. It's in the middle spot, not on, not off. Now if I try to push it back to the on position, it's not going to stay. It just bounces back to the tripped position. What you need to do here is push it firmly to the off position and you should hear or feel a click and that tells you that the mechanism inside is reset. There it clicked firmly to the off position and back to the on. Now if you haven't removed the condition that caused that, especially a short circuit condition, that breaker will immediately trip again and you might even see a flash or a spark or hear a snap when the breaker trips. You'll see there's different types of breakers here in your panel. There's the single pole as we just showed you, single poles up here, that's a single pole full size 30. You'll also see these double pole circuits. This would be a 40 amp 2 pole for the range, a 30 amp 2 pole for the dryer, and this was a kitchen split receptacle. Now you'll notice that they're physically tied together, and that's so that if one or the other of those two hot legs feeding that circuit trips, it'll drag the other one back with it so that it removes all the power from that device or that appliance. Same thing, if that is in a trip position, you want to push both handles firmly to the off and back into the on position. Another breaker that you may encounter in your panel is a GFCI, that's a ground fault circuit interrupter breaker, and an arc fault circuit interrupter breaker, AFCI. The principles will remain the same if you go to reset those breakers in a trip condition, but they also include a test button like this. That test button tests the circuitry to ensure that your breaker is functioning as it should due to the internal circuitry that causes it to trip in either an arc fault situation or a ground fault situation. So these should be tested at least monthly, but again, principles are the same. Push the test button, that goes into the part way position, and in order to reset that, you must fully pull it to the off position until it snaps, and then back into the on. So the important thing to remember here is to clear the condition that caused the circuit to trip and remedy that situation. Then push that breaker handle fully off before trying to turn it back on. For a full explanation of all types of breakers and their functions, a most detailed and easy to understand explanation and animated demonstration can be found on the best electrical education tool available anywhere. That's the Basics of Household Wiring DVD. If you just click on the link at the end of this video, you can get your copy today. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to visit the website at www.electrical-online.com for access to many more helpful videos and articles. Thanks for watching.